Let's look over here at an interesting differential calculus procedure. I have a non-linear function. It's curved, and I'm calling it f. I pick a particular point. I'm labeling that as a point p. I'll draw a tangent to this point. A tangent line will look something like this. I'll delimit the tangent line only to that point p and only to the intersection of this tangent line to my x-axis, which is right here. I'm labeling this point t. From this point p, I'm bringing down a perpendicular. I'm going to label this s. I have two relevant segments. One is this TS and the other one is this PS right over here. What are these? PS is nothing other than just here a delta Y, a change in Y. From here your S point to your P point. Your S point would have X comma zero. Your P point here I'll relabel it as PX comma PY. My delta Y over here is going to be equal to my ps it's that's what it is it's going to be a py minus a zero which is just a py and you can just label that as a y that's all what it is what's my length of my ts ts is nothing than a subtangent a subtangent is a projection of your tangent segment that's what tp is a tangent segment onto your x-axis by means of a particular angle between the two the length of the subtangent is equal to a specific formula from differential calculus. It's equal to a certain y value divided by your slope of your tangent line on your function at a particular point. This y value is no different than this py value, which is no different than this. Now you're looking here at a particular angle. That angle right there, theta, represents the inclination of any tangent line you draw on a nonlinear function so long as it's continuous over there. But with regards to a reference x-axis horizontal, the angle of your tangent line to your x-axis is represented by that. You have a specific formula. Tan theta is equal to opposite. My opposite here is my PS segment divided by my adjacent, which is TS, your subtangent. What is PS equal to? You know it's right here. It's a Y. What's your length of your TS, your subtangent? It's Y over MT. Solve this. MT here is just an abbreviation for slope of a tangent. You have over here a Y or 1 and you're flipping this fraction around, mt over y. These cancel out, and you have here an empty slope of a tangent line. We'll make this a subscript, because that's what it is. Your formula here, your relevant formula is this. Tan theta is always equal to your slope of your tangent line. What this means is the angle of inclination of any tangent line on a curved function at a particular point, so long as a derivative can be determined there, is always equal to the slope of your tangent line. Tan theta is equal to the slope of your tangent line, and this formula here is good.